Hello, fire signs, and welcome to your reading. So this will be for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and this will be for the second half of November, okay? Your mid-month messages. So let's jump in with Aries, and this will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Arising. And if you're dealing with an Aries and you're watching and Crosswatcher, this message might make more sense to you. Okay. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Awaiting results. Oh, okay. Do we need to be patient or there's some good news coming in? Let's see. Let's get four surrounding cards and we will dive in deeper to your reading areas. Wow, that one came right around. Look at that. It's hope, but it's also 17. And you guys know me in numbers. Seven, 17. There's another seven on the board. Okay. It's interesting. I want to add them together to make an eight. Okay, mental conflict. Let's see. Let's get two more. Balance. Yep. One and one. Even though it's 11. Look at Y'all know me. Sorry. One and one make two. I just can't help myself, guys. I'm never going to stop it. It just happens. Okay. Totally obsessed with numerology. <laughs> I love it, guys. And another two. If I can get that card in focus. Okay. Two's on each side. One and one make two. Two options. Two possibilities. What am I going to do? One, we're going to stay positive, right? Here's the thing. If we're waiting on any results, <clears throat> meaning like test results, Stay positive. We're not going to let ourselves go into the doom and gloom. It may take a little bit longer, but there's hope and things, prayers are being answered, okay? You have your angels and your team of light bringing in balance, restoring faith, working out any mental conflict, mental health stuff. I am really more focused on these lab results or whatever this is. I'm telling you, it's like, oh, I didn't get it immediately, right? But that's okay because I'm not worried about the outcome with the hope card here. Hope card here. You are protected. Everything will be okay, so be patient. So what do you do in the meantime? Whatever you're waiting on, did I get the job? I don't know why I heard internship, though. I don't know. Okay, But, like, did I did I, did I make partner? That, that type of energy, right? Did I get approved for the loan? Am I, am I moving? Whatever we're waiting on, have patience, okay? The more we doubt it and the more we second-guess it and the more we believe it's not ours, we're pushing it away. That's the mental conflict. So what are we going to do? We're going to stay positive. We're going to believe it's already ours, right? Law of attraction. Speak it into existence. Let your angels and your team of light work on it on your behalf and just be patient. It doesn't matter if it takes six days, six hours, six weeks, whatever it is. I feel you're going to get the results you want, but it does feel like we have to get a hold of the mind. The mindset important. Stay positive. Glasses half full. Focus on the positivity. Focus on the gratitude. Your angels and, and team of light are here on your behalf. And the more we can kind of allow look at how fast it's manifesting though look at it's almost at your heart like it's up here it's almost tangible hang on a little bit longer you will have your answer even if it's i'm awaiting is somebody going to call me back or text me back or something you're going to get your answers regardless just hang on be patient this month aries and stay positive right don't let any doom and gloom sink into your mind controlling your mindset is going to be really important this month Twos keep you waiting a little bit. It's not quite time, but just hold on. Okay. Um, sevens are spiritual number. You're spiritually protected. Your angels got you. All right. So we're going to focus on the light and stay in the love. And we will have a good month here, Aries. Okay. All right, Aries. We'll wrap up your reading. Okay. All right. Let's shuffle up these cards again and we'll move on to Leo. Okay. Right, 404 on the clock. Love it, love it, love it. Let's get it one more shuffle. Okay. Let's see. Right. Okay, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Also, if you're dealing with the Leo and you're watching, then Cross Watcher, this message might actually make more sense to you. Oh, 432. I love it. And 434. Wow. Okay. Sorry. Seeing numbers. <laughs> Leo, let's get one card. Center of the spread. Trust, 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 trust. I like it. Trusting in the universe. Trusting yourself. Could be taking a leap of faith. Let's see what, it, what we have. Trusting in um, no matter what's happening, it's happening for my highest and good. Even if I feel it's a bad or challenging time, 
There could be some relief coming in. Let's see. Let's get four. It seems a little blurry. Let's get four surrounding cards for Leo. Perfect. I love it. Look at this. Look at this. After zero comes one, things come in awareness. Things click. I understand the why. I, I'm understanding a lot, right? Let's see what else we got. Wow, guys, another one. Triumph and success. Ah, oh, clarity, moments, connectiveness. Okay. Oh my God, guys, 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 you know what I'm about to do. Zero, one, one, two. You guys know me in numbers. You saw that coming the second you saw it too. Maybe you didn't. Maybe I jumped ahead, but <laughs> if, I, you, if I see, you know what I'm about to do, you know what I'm about to do, right? We need one more card. Look at that bottom of the deck, Passion Ignite, another freaking one. Wow, Leo, what is happening? Let's get the last card. Leo. Guys. It's, I can't even make this up. You guys see I do jumpers. And we had the ace at the... <gasps> you guys saw I flipped over. It said one, Passion Ignite. I flipped over the deck again. Another new beginning is a zero. Zero, zero, one, one, one. Talk about alignment and a two. I can't even... Zero, one, 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 two. Okay. Okay, Leo. One word, describe your whole... I'm going to leave this here. We're going to showcase this off right up top, right? One word to describe your whole reading is new, 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 new. But how do we get there? We trust in ourselves. We trust in the process. We trust in the universe. There's a lot of trust needed. We take the leap of faith. We invest in ourselves. Okay. I might have been planning stuff for some time. There wasn't some payoff, but I just kept trusting. I know the universe will catch me. I know the universe has got me. I've been trusting, living in the light. I've been trusting. I'm trusting and trusting. Okay. Well, bam, things work. Bam, new people come in. Bam. Clarity and success. This is an aha moment. This is a huge breakthrough, right? Maybe even on the mental plane, connecting you back to your intuition. Could even be third eye chakra activation or opening, but higher planes of existence or downloads. You could be getting some crystalline downloads, something higher power connecting you, guiding you to this breakthrough. The aha, aha moment, the new clarity. I know what to do, right? Most likely probably around another person, could be surrounded by creativity, but I'm telling you, it's something you've been working on for some time. You're seeing the fruition. There's new beginnings. If you feel you're not succeeding, if you feel there's no money coming in, if you feel there's no beginning and you feel you're not starting anew, give it another day. I say within three days, God, within seven days, whatever it is. You, I can't even begin. Zero, zero, one, 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 two. And when we had a one and a zero on here, Guys, I can't even look new. You are doing fine. You are doing great. There's so much prosperity and abundance. You are glowing. Your energy is radiating. They are shining down on you. Proud energy. Whatever you're doing, it's like keep up the good work. You reap the awards now, right? Your tree has now grown. We waited. We were stuck in it for some time. I trust. I trust. I trust. And it hadn't grown. Now, bam, all of a sudden the whole tree is there. How did you do it? You did the work along the way. Be proud of you. You succeeded. You did the work. But again, there's a huge download coming in. An aha moment, a breakthrough. There's some kind of breakthrough coming in for you. Big break. Big, 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 big energy, right? You could be clearing out sacral chakra wounds, stuff from the past energy. But there's something going on here. Freedom leading you to happiness and freedom. Man, Leo, I can't wait to hear what this is. I can't wait to see what you got for you, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, even maybe wrapping up a cycle, but it's all what happens after that. New, 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 new. All right, Leo. We will wrap up your reading. God, I can't believe we had a zero and a one here. That was freaking, what was it? I'm going to see if I can find it for two seconds. No, it was the other purple card, right? Oh, no, there's a lot of purple cards here. You guys saw it, though. Now I'm being stubborn and I want to find it. That was the other thing, right? You guys saw me say it. I can't even, I can't even, guys. We're going to shuffle this deck like hella good today. I always shuffle really good. And you guys, the new jumpers, but however many zeros and ones came out, we're going to shuffle a little bit longer before I jump into Sagittarius, okay? 929 at the clock. Love it. Okay. All right. Man, Leo, because these are general and they'll all be different for you guys. Tell me in the comments. What is this new? There's no way you have that many ones and that many zeros 
without some huge accomplishment, some new energy, somebody new coming into your life, something new is happening, right? And I, I don't know, because they're all, listen, they're general, but please tell me in the comments, whatever that is, I'm so excited for you, right? Big break moment. Huge epiphanies. Huge connecting the dots. Your team of light is downloading stuff into your energetic field. Okay. All right. Clarity and truth. All right. I'll put this one back in here. And then we will move on to Sagittarius. Okay. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Also, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius and you're watching, then Crosswatcher, this message might actually make more sense to you. Okay. See one card, Sagittarius, jumping right out, coming together. I like it. Is it plans? Is it people? Is it love? Let's see. Heart chakra healing. Emesis green and two people. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's get four surrounding cards for Sagittarius. There's one, two. Wow, I'm going to take these together. Look at that. Destiny and triumph. How freaking beautiful is this? Okay, let's get another card. Wow, that's a lot. Jeez, I'd only take them as one. I normally try to go one, two, three, four. Man, okay, we'll see what we got. Okay, memories of love. I'm going to take most of these here, though. Wow, there's the fertility. I split these up a little bit. Solitude, wow, and movement, positive movement. That's going to be blurry. Positive movement forward, but that's an eight and a nine, guys. You see that? I'm going to put this here. Look at that. Sorry, I'm just moving because the number is two, three, multiply three, it goes to six. Sorry, I'm kind of obsessed with numbers. If you guys can't tell, if you watched my channel, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get one last card. There's an icebreaker coming in. Wow, look it. And there's another three. You will succeed. Okay. Um, <clears throat> blocking communication, um, probably somebody you're not in contact with, or it could be an actual block. You block them, they blocked you, whatever it is, some kind of line of, line of communication has been blocked for some time. So what does that mean? Someone from the past is probably coming back together. We do have coming together. Okay. Why is it happening now? Because we had to wait. We both were on two separate missions, two separate life purposes, two separate lessons. We need to learn about ourselves. needed to learn about love. And when the time is right, when the wheel is turning in your favor, and destiny says it's time, you will succeed with this person. They're coming back into your life, okay? Fertility doesn't necessarily always have to mean pregnancy. Birthing of new energetic ideas. Bring It's just new energy, right? That birthing energy is birthing the energy of the connection, bringing it back together, okay? Memories of love. This is Six of Cups. That also relates with soulmate, right? That's the soulmate. Somebody coming back. There's two people in here. Somebody that uh, you have a lot of emotions with. Probably a big past with. But again, we're going to start our new. This is a new creation cycle. Creating new beginnings together. You guys obviously will succeed with rejoice and celebration because you overcome these battles, okay? We've got a lot of threes. Could have been three days, three weeks, three months, three years. Something I'm highlighting about the threes in the time apart. It literally could have been a time apart because of third-party situation. There's something going on with the threes and the separation, right? It's interesting the threes kind of bring you back as the prayers answered. But positive movement forward. You both are doing really good. You actually both have been doing really good alone, right? We've got this energy. But you guys will be even better together. It's this pair. I see you guys like, I don't know. I don't know how you dance in water under the moonlight. But I see you guys dancing here. Sorry. It's just what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I'm going to look at the card. But um, yeah, I mean, sailing together away. It's like a long-awaited homecoming. Reunion of souls. People coming together. A lot of celebration. A lot of laughter for you all month. And a lot of joyous time for you all month. And a community coming together. But I'm telling you, the one person that holds the Kentucky heartstrings, they're coming back. It, there's some huge memory of love. And it literally, it could be just way deepening the connection. Starting anew with somebody. Creating new destinies. Creating new futures but there's huge creation energy around this person it's all new but at the same time they highlight the past okay so we let go of the past and we start this new future with them but there's so many people around you all month it's gonna be a busy time a lot of joyous a lot of celebration a lot of laughter 
communal events, could be birthday celebrations, something's going on. It's going to keep you busy. You're good on your own. So are they, but you guys are better together. This is soulmate. You cannot fight destiny. You can only fight it for so long. You guys will succeed together. You guys are a match made in heaven, right? This is like union love. It's very actually a beautiful connection, okay? Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Wow, I just heard Pluto. I was about to wrap up the reading. I don't know if you have Pluto placement or Pluto's been affecting you. I mean, Pluto was in retrograde for some time. It's not anymore. Um, okay, what are you trying to tell me about Pluto? They're bringing you back to the numbers and ascension. Okay, so that you guys could have been apart during that time, but whatever it was, it's bringing you back together. The planetary placement. Oh, meaning the stars align. Okay, okay. I was like, why are the stars lying? Now is destiny. Now is the time. And we want to know why we weren't talking, why the separation happened. It doesn't matter. The stars, let that go, right? That's what we're letting go. The stars have aligned. Now is the time. Yeah, whatever happened there with the Pluto placement of the Pluto retrograde was necessary to close out a cycle. You needed to focus on you. And now we're going to focus on the two of you together. Back in union, back in communication. Okay, Sagittarius, now we're really going to wrap up your reading. All right, guys, so we'll wrap up all the fire signs. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys got anything out of this video, do me a favor with that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something that resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a bell too. You want the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, it's my fire signs. Till next time, be blessed.